welcome back to Out Country Sales. If you are new here, I am Amber and that is Mike. We are resellers and we do sourcing videos such as storage units, garage sales, thrift stores, and all sorts of other goodies, what sold videos. So make sure that if you like that kind of content. gold. So if you like that kind of content, make sure that you hit the subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know every <laughs> time we upload. So we are here in the Wisconsin Dells. We've been on a little vacay for the last four days. This is our last day and today is our shopping day. So I'm going to bring you guys along. We're going to hit the strip. While there was a thrift store up here, unfortunately it's closed due to COVID. I don't know why it's not open yet. Maybe they're permanently closed. Sad. There is a St. Vinny's about 20 minutes away, so we're gonna hit up that one after we hit the strip. So let's go see what we can find up here on vacation to resell today. Down here on the strip, we'll go look around for some toys. We'll go find some toys. You want toys? I want toys. All right, we found Dell's Discount Outlet. That's what I'm talking about. Yes, $5.99. And this is the perfect place to get it, too. <laughs> yes, I love it. Let me see it. See the other one. <laughs> it does look really grumpy. I got a couple of these for sale right now, but they're so weird. I know. Like, they just look weird. I mean, look at their faces. <laughs> what fixes? I know, right? It's not a game, it's a rich thing. made it to St. Vincent de Paul thrift store. We are in Baraboo. Baraboo. Yes. Hey, look at that guy. Mm -hmm. This is a nice one. What's you got going on back there? Hmm. <laughs> Thermal cup coffee maker. That's like the same thing that was at the hotel. hotel. <laughs> you jerk. <laughs> you make crappy coffee. <laughs> the store is so empty. This is craziness. Not what I was expecting at all. I hope there's some toys. Yeah, I know. That's crazy. This is what I've been waiting for. Nothing. 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 Look pretty cool. Those would sell. Size are I mean, I know they're women's. Three, two, thirty-two. Or maybe they are men's. At least we don't leave here empty-handed. <laughs> There's no toys, Michael. Michael, where are all the toys? They don't have any. <laughs> yeah, that's a nice brewer's hat. That's really nice. Do that, put it on your head. <laughs> there you go. Well, we got a couple things. <laughs> ah. Might have to take this video to another spot. <laughs> Craziness. I guess see what they got in the glass over here, and then we're gonna be Audi. Oh, toys! <gasps> we found them. Guys, look at I found the toys. Oh, look at the My Little Pony and the Barbies. Hey, I need the cart. I actually need the cart now. Bring it on over, Sparky. Okay. 
Beep. You're a beep. You're a little sheep. Beep, you're a little sheep. Beep, beep, turtle, sheep, beep, sheepy. Why are you leaving the car? I got sheep stuff to do. You got sheep stuff to do. Well, at least I got some good boss. Oh snap! No monster high. All right, y'all, back home, back to work, back to the grind. I've never seen a thrift store that empty, especially the same Vinnies. I mean, I don't think I've seen any that empty, but usually the same Vinnies are all all pretty decent they're pretty full but man I couldn't believe it as I'm walking through there the more and more I look I'm like these shelves are like empty so definitely not what I was expecting for a thrip trip away from home uh, but still got a few things and luckily we got a few things from the claw machine when we were at the hotel one mini school two three Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Two of those. Already have gotten a couple of them up for sale. So at least we got some squishables out of the claw machine. It wasn't a total loss, right? But let's see what else we did get from that weird empty thrift store. So I got this Milwaukee Brewers hat, Nike hat. It was in excellent condition. I have that listed up already. Everything I think is listed up. But I will put the price I listed it for up here. But yeah, it was in great condition, so I couldn't pass that up. The first thing that we actually did find in that empty, empty store were these riding gear pants. And the one thing Mike knows about is riding gear um, when it comes to clothes. So we did snatch these up. I get about a 40 for these. They're a little bit rough, but they're still definitely got some uh, good years on them. And the rest, uh, rest is all toys. Squishmallows, two, a hat, a pair of pants, and the rest were toys. So I got a lady in the tramp, puppy. I grabbed it, it's, it still had the tag on it. Um, I grabbed this Cogsworth. It was more of a nostalgia thing for me, but I ended up putting it up for eight bucks and it sold literally within 30 seconds after after posting it so that one already sold if I would have known that it was gonna sell that quickly uh, I would have put it up for a few more bucks at least I mean he's small but he sold so fast the LPS is I grabbed two of those and I'm gonna list them up together I'll probably get more money that way and then we got Dory from Finding Nemo um, she was a little more rough than I thought there was quite a bit of dog hair on her or cat hair when I started actually looking closely at her, so I need to finish cleaning her up and also a possible um, weird boogery substance on the fin. So she definitely needs to be cleaned up. Not bad though. And then I found this adorable Best Ways Bear, movable arms and legs. Um, super cute though denim dress and then I grabbed a Sven from Frozen um, every time I've gotten Frozen stuff in the past it sells almost immediately um, within a few days so I'm not sure how Sven's gonna do without Elsa and Anna but we'll give him a chance right oh and this is baby Sven or it's like toddler Sven they have like baby ones and then like a little bit older and then the adult and my favorite plush of all was this 1981 Garfield still with the tag on so I was pretty excited about that. I paid $4 for them. The cool thing about this one is when I was looking up comps, I found several Garfield that were sold that were around the same year. But instead of having the Otis tube around him, it was just like a duck. I could not find a single one that actually had the Otis on it. So because I couldn't find one that was just like this I did kind of set the bar and I, I put them up for I think it was 35 or 40 the rest of them sold for around 25 I think but there was nothing like this one so I wanted to kind of 
put it up a little bit and see if I can make some more money off of them. And then I got four Barbie type dolls. And I come to find out that these two are actually Taylor Swift dolls. Probably different years maybe. Not sure. Definitely when she was still doing country. And they do have a little bit of value to them. I was, I was surprised to find out that they were Taylor Swift though. I mean, they're both really nice condition still. Almost like brand new. The hair has definitely not been played with or anything. And the other two, whoa, we're sideways. And the other two were the Monster Highs. Um, this one here was in like perfect condition, hair really nice. I didn't realize that this had a new rubber band in it, so it's not the original, but still very nice. Looks like they weren't played with a whole lot. And I think I'll put these two up separately because the purple one has some accessories to it so I can get a little bit more with her, more for her with the accessories. Accessories are always good. And last but not least, the little pony lot. There was one, two, three, four, five, six. There was six. I really liked her hair. She's cool and I like the gray. I haven't looked up the ponies yet so I don't know what their own names are, but they were all in pretty good condition. There was only one that kind of had crappy hair, so I'm going to try to brush through it, see if I can make it look a little bit better, then kind of look them up individually, but I would assume I'm going to just put these in a lot. I don't think there's anything here that's worth a lot of money on its own. So yeah, the vacation was fun. The thrift store sucked, but at least we still got a few things and we didn't come home completely empty-handed. And we'll still make a little bit of money. Alright guys, thanks so much for joining us. You know we appreciate every single one of you. And I know I don't say it enough, but thank you to all my new subscribers. There has been a ton. And thank you so much for continuing to come back. I see a lot of the same people coming back all the time. And that means the world to me. So make sure that if you are new to hit that subscribe button, turn on your notification bell. And I will see you on the next Bye. Bye. Just to unpack, there ain't no time to relax. Coffee source, folks.